Hello, I'm Colin Balchin and I'm going to talk to you about earned value management today. Uh, I'm with Adept Knowledge Management and we're in Aberdeen. It's in May and it's a great day. Earned value management is one of three really great techniques involved in project control. I have a colleague who thinks that the work breakdown structure is the most important thing. I think critical path analysis is pretty important, but both of them are vital to get to earned value management. Earned value management helps you to monitor a project to the extent of knowing where you are in relation to what the plan was, how much you spent in relation to what you planned to spend, and then working out what you've got left to do. And from that, you can forecast a few things. First of all, you can forecast the end cost of the project, the estimate at completion, it's called. Some people call it the end life forecast. You can also estimate how long it's going to take you to finish the project or what the project duration is going to be. So these are pretty important things to uh, know about a project and if you can answer those questions on a project, you're in control. So we start off by moving from um, all the resources or costs on a critical path network through to a bar chart as we've done before and from the bar chart we've created on a graph like this with time along there and either our costs, money or pounds up here or resources we've developed our old friend the S-curve and that's telling us this is the end of the project, the project duration this is the planned budget at completion notice that BAC so this is where we see the baseline of the project. We're going to do all the work. We're going to spend all this amount of money over that time. At any point in the project, we might be monitoring where we are. And I'm going to take one point at time now, there. And I'm going to put up a couple of the things that we will know if we're in control or trying to get in control of the project. The first thing and the most important thing that we'll want to measure is the progress. And we would put that progress into place by plotting it all the way along to there. That progress is technically called the earned value. But that's the physical progress on the job, but measured in budget terms. Pretty important, but a vital thing to do. We compare that with this point here on our baseline, which is, if you like, our plan. That's sometimes called the planned value. I'm just putting PV there. So we immediately know this is where we are in relation to where we plan to be. That's pretty vital. And from there, we can do some forecasting things. For example, we could, by measuring an index of how well we're doing against how well we thought we were going to do, that's called a schedule performance index. And that simply is a measure of the progress divided by the plan, or we could say EV divided by PV. And then using that index, if we simply take the project duration and that index of performance, what we can do is make a forecast of the project duration. And that is simply the project duration divided by this schedule performance index. I think that's a pretty important index because this is really your effectiveness. How well are you doing in relation to what you plan to do? 